want to talk about how I make over $200,000 by never going to college, by never having a real job, and by doing exactly what I want every single day. Now, first off, I am not making this video as a course to teach you how to make money because it's going to be really, really hard to replicate what I do and how I make money. But you can try if you want. You can try. This is more of just a brief overview of how I survive how i pay my bills and how i'm able to keep doing what i want to do every day i'm going to show you the full breakdown how much money i make from all these different things i've got multiple income sources that add up very nicely going to talk about it in this video kind of my multiple income sources how i make money and how i'm surviving in today's world just to get you up to speed really quickly who i am where i've come from i started out as a professional action sports filmer or just kind of a beginner action sports filmer started filming wakeboarding i worked for a wakeboarding magazine i worked my way up i figured out different ways to make money done a lot of stuff and traveled the world it was an amazing way to grow up now what happens is everybody in the world starts to film everybody's filming and everybody has a camera everyone's got a gopro right everyone can do pretty much what i was doing before so i had to evolve unless i wanted to just die or want to be stagnant and not go anywhere so that's what i did i started to branch out with social media i got into instagram kind of learning about how social media works and then i kind of got into the day trading stuff and now with the whole youtube and it kind of all adds up very nicely and i end up making a pretty decent amount of money from basically just doing what I do every day. My big income source is gonna come from marketing. And what that is, it's not me selling courses. That's one thing that I'm really proud about is I have never sold a course. So when I talk about marketing, what I'm doing is I'm working with actual companies, businesses to create content for them. Largest kind of long-term clients that I've had is a client called Slingshot. They make kiteboarding gear, wakeboarding, surfing, stuff like that. And basically what I do is I film all their product videos. I also film other videos for them. I've been working with them for about six years, seven years now. It's kind of worked out great for me because now I'm on retainer. They pay me monthly. And then I basically get a check every month to just keep making videos and doing stuff that we need to do, traveling the world with my friends. So that's one big chunk of my income. Another big chunk of my income is coming from a company called Drone Nerds. So what I do with Drone Nerds for the last three years is I manage their social media. I post Instagram photos. I post Instagram videos. I find the best Instagram content out there. Over 225,000 followers. This is the second largest drone page in the world that I manage. Basically, all of these posts are coming through me. I'm finding them. This is actually a photo that I took the other day. You can see the new drone that we got and some new drone videos. Uh, this is actually a little video that we shot when we were in the Caribbean for the kiteboarding with slingshots. So you can see how it all kind of intermingles and works out great because I can create content for drone nerds for their Instagram and then for their YouTube. They've also got the YouTube that I'm over there making videos of as well. You see me over there on the drone YouTube as well, making videos, talking about different products, stuff like that. Great about the two companies that I work with is I'm basically on retainer. Retainer is that I'm getting paid monthly, just kind of guaranteed with a contract. And I have a contract for you know two or three years. And it's basically saying I'm gonna get this much money every single month for the next two or three years. And it works out great because that's over $10,000 a month that I'm getting paid from those two clients. And that works out really nice because it's basically just covering all my bills covering everything I need to pay for and then putting money away as well from that alone. So that's not bad. That's over $100,000 a year just from those two clients. Let's say I go on a week-long trip with a company to film product videos, stuff like that. That might range from five to $10,000 just depending on the overall production, how many videos are for one day filming. Let's say I'm filming a new boat. That might pay around $2,000 to $3,000 for one day of filming depending on what camera and drone, stuff like that. So if I go out and film all day long, I can make two to $3,000 filming. And that's not even including editing. So if I have to edit as well, I gotta add on editing rate. And those are gonna be all different types of companies that are all just kind of word of mouth. I really don't advertise. For example, maybe you might see me film a music video. Here's a music video that I filmed. So there's all types of different things that I'm working on that I don't really talk about on YouTube all the time. But you know, sometimes when I'm not trading and stuff like that, I might be filming a music video. You never know. And I don't wanna be that guy who's just sitting here throwing out numbers. I wanna show you really quickly my last two months bank statements. These are my real bank statements. Now this isn't every single dollar that I have and I'm not gonna show you the exact amount of money I have, but I'll kind of just show you my deposits for the last two months. And just to kind of give some proof that I actually make money, unlike a lot of the people on YouTube who just throw out numbers, like I make $10 million. So really quickly here, so you can see, now we're in my bank account. Uh, I'll pull up my statement here. I'm gonna have to cover out some stuff here. But you can see there, $20,000 in deposits and that was for last month. If we look for the month before, so it'll be June, you can see there depositing 17,000. So not bad, kind of on point. I need to be making about $20,000 a month. If I can clear $200,000 a year, I'm pretty happy with that. I don't need to complain. 
and it's totally fine. So I've shown my earnings from YouTube a lot before uh, this past month, oh, about $2,299 so far. Not too bad, not too bad at all. Goal for YouTube right now is really just to make $2,000 a month. I've kind of done that last couple months and I feel like it's just increasing. So I think long term, if I can hit like $5,000 a month from YouTube, that would be pretty amazing and really kind of set me up going into the future. Always gotta be figuring out, you know, what's next? What's the next step for Patrick Whelan? And that's kind of why I've been building this YouTube is because I really feel like it's my ultimate freedom where I can just create the content, do whatever I want, talk about whatever I want, and then kind of create a living. Another cool thing about YouTube is what it also brings along. So I get a lot of opportunities to make videos about different cryptocurrencies. I don't wanna get too deep into it, but let's just say I'm making a pretty penny from these sponsored YouTube videos that I'm creating and I'm not really pushing them too hard. I'm not like telling anybody they have to buy. I'm, I'm not trying to you know really push anything on anybody. I'm just making videos, talking about different cryptocurrencies, stuff like that. So if you ever see these videos on here, you gotta understand that I get paid a lot of money to make these videos, so don't hate me for it, don't hate me for it. It's basically just me talking about different projects, stuff like that, they're just a sponsored video. The companies are paying to sponsor this video. I've never approached any cryptocurrency per se. I've never actually said, hey, pay me. They always email me first. The big thing I always focus on is making sure that it's not a total scam, that it's not a Ponzi scheme, anything like that, nothing like BitConnect. If it's got a red flag right there, I turn it down. I turn down a lot of them. But if I see a project that actually has a good team, that has an opportunity, it's a cool project, I'll make a review about it, just talking about it, kind of an overview of what the project is about. And that's all I really do. I don't tell anyone to buy, anything like that. And then also I've had some pretty good runs in the cryptocurrency market. Last year made a ton of money with the cryptocurrency stuff when the big run happened. And then I've kind of been trading in and out this year. So there's been some opportunities. Obviously we haven't had a really just massive major bull market but there's still been some beautiful opportunities. I've posted some of those live trades before. There's nothing about my life that's traditional by any means. And that's really kind of what I want to sum up with this video. Everything that I've done is against the traditional way of doing things. Every single opportunity that I've had has been because I've thought out of the box. Nobody would have thought that I could make enough money to live on by just running Instagram or making videos for Instagram, posting photos. Crazy idea. My parents would have never thought that I could actually make any money. And I come from a pretty you know, basic American family. We grew up in the country, my dad has a construction company. Uh, they're not rich by any means. My dad doesn't give me any money anymore. When I was young, obviously he gave me a little bit of money when I was a kid to buy certain things when I was a kid, but he has not given me any money since then and I don't have a trust fund, anything like that. So for me, it's always just been about working hard, figuring out what works best for me and working a nine to five job this does not work best for me by any means there's no way i could ever work a nine to five job i just don't know how or what i would do just wouldn't work out so this whole youtube thing has to work out for me and i'm pretty happy currently with kind of situation my overall life it's really never been about the money the money has always just been kind of a validation you know if i can make two hundred thousand dollars that means there's value in whatever i offer and that's what it comes down to it's not that i'm like hey I'm making a ton of money to put into the bank and I want to be super rich and I want to sit here and save all my money and buy a million dollar house. I would love to buy a million dollar house, but really what it comes down to is for me personally saying that I've been able to accomplish this, been able to get to the point where I can make money doing exactly what I want to do. People pay me for my advice or my ideas when it comes to creating content, creating you know, videos and things that really kind of get people talking. And I feel like I have a pretty good skill set when it comes to that, creating commotion. You guys know I can get people talking on YouTube, that's for sure. And I think that's one of the cool things about this YouTube channel is I've been able to really show that this YouTube channel is kind of like a proof of concept, that Patrick Whelan knows how to grow a following, that Patrick Whelan knows how to create content that will get people talking. Patrick Whelan knows what he's doing. And that's not to say that you guys are some guinea pigs or that this has all been some experiment. There's a lot of people in the world who claim that they know how to create a commotion they know how to get people talking they talk a big game but they don't walk it where i'm actually over here walking it i'm creating this youtube channel from scratch with really i mean i'm not an expert day trader by any means i'm not a pro i'm learning i'm talking about it we're doing it but still it's not like i'm some type of super famous day trader who started a youtube channel i'm really just a nobody when it comes to day trading and i've created this whole channel in a very niche market i've been able to really kind of do something. Whatever my message is, maybe kind of showing the trials, the tribulations of becoming a day trader, maybe that resonates with people and they kind of just like to watch my videos. Maybe they like to see me lose, I don't know. But either way, I've been able to kind of go from zero to 100 real quick 
with this YouTube channel and kind of prove that I can do it. Hopefully you guys see that sometimes it's better to think outside the box, take a risk and do something crazy because you never know where you're going to end up. I never thought I'd be here talking on YouTube to you guys. That's for sure. I'll talk to you guys later on. <laughs>